what's up folks? Just taking the taking the truck to get a load of of gravel from my driveway. From plowing the driveway and everything this winter, moving trucks in and out. We got some pretty good potholes and stuff in here, so figured I'd go get a load of class A and fill in some fill in some holes, smooth it out a bit. So I got the 2017 F250, 6.7 power stroke diesel. I've got the 14 foot big tex dump trailer. I'm back right now. The dump trailer itself just weighs slightly over 4,000 pounds. Uh, I got the Gen Y, Gen Y Torsen hitch. It's the bumper pull. Uh, get a load of gravel. I'll probably get, you know, around three ton or so, but we'll see when we get the slip. I've got the Airlift Wireless One onboard compressor with the, it is right there, it's a remote with the Airlift Load Level 5000 airbags. Uh, you know make a huge difference Right now with the trailer empty. I put 60 pounds in it Generally with an empty I'd run it somewhere around 40, but Where I'm going to be getting that load of gravel put on the truck I want to make sure I have a decent amount of weight a decent amount of pressure already in the airbags before I get that That load on the back of the truck But uh, anyway, that's it for now I'll uh, I'll check back in once I have once I have a load on here because that's really that's really all you're here for. All right, I'll see you soon. Alright guys, so I just got loaded and uh, you know I asked for I asked for 3 ton but I got 4.37 It's just kind of how it works sometimes uh, When I convert that to pounds, it's Excuse my screen, I don't know if you can see it, but It's 8740 pounds Is what it works out to be So with my trailer being a little over 4000 pounds I'm right around 12,800 pounds, a little over that, getting close to 13,000 pounds with the, with the trailer and gravel. I'll uh, take you outside and show you just so there's no discrepancies. So here's the Big Tex 14LX heavy duty trailer. So my net payload is 9860, so that means my trailer weighs 4,140 pounds. So I actually am over 13,000 pounds. There's the gravel. Gen Y torsion hitch. And I have 115 pounds in my airbags right now. And you can see that the truck really isn't squatting at all with that much weight. So we're gonna jump back in and we're gonna hit the road. Hey guys, so I actually made a mistake when I did that calculation on my phone. That was uh, shore tons, also, you know, US tons. And what we use here is metric tons, which is T-O-N-N-E-S. And metric tons is like 2,200 pounds in a ton. So 4.37 ton equals equals 9,634 pounds plus my trailer weight, which is 4140 equals 13,774 pounds. So sorry for that, but that's the proper amount of weight. So 
getting close to 14,000 pounds. All right, guys. So here we go, we're off. I've got the trailer brake set to eight. I'm actually gonna put it up to eight and a half. We're getting really close to our max payload and GVWR on this truck. We're pretty much at the max. We're a little over 13,000 pounds. The truck's rated at like 14.5 for towing. Like I said, I've got 115 pounds in my bags right now. We're, uh, we're getting onto a highway with a hill here, so we're gonna give a good test of the truck. Got some wheel spin. And away she goes. Now I will tell you my foot is to the floor right now. summer when I was hauling firewood and I said F-250 towing 12,000 pounds. I had a few people who obviously don't know how much that wood weighs because they were saying, you know, hey man, all due respect, there's no way that that's 12,000 pounds. And one guy was even telling me, I mean, we're going up to 116 kilometers an hour right now. 120. One guy was telling me, you know, you might have 6,000 pounds on there or something like that. He's like, 2,000 pounds for your trailer and 4,000 pounds for the wood. First off, you know, I know how much my trailer weighs. I just showed you. It's over 4,000 pounds. It's actually over 4,100. It's 4,140 pounds. It's what my trailer weighs empty. And a cord of wood, a cord of seasoned firewood, is somewhere around, you know, 3,000 to 4,000 to 4,500 pounds, depending on how dry it is. The firewood that I sold early in the summer was not seasoned. It was cut, you know, a while ago, but it wasn't split and laid out in the sun to season and dry out. It wasn't seasoned, and also it was oak. About 80% of it was oak, which is, which is very, very heavy. Anyone that knows anything but wood is, they know it's heavy. So I said 12,000 pounds, and honestly, I really feel like it was more than that, probably close to what I'm hauling right now. But regardless, now you got the proof, you've seen the numbers, you know, you know the weight. I, I had a guy comment on my video the other day who just subscribed to my videos, uh, subscribed to my channel, and he said, I subscribed to your channel because I wanted to see, I just bought an F-250 and I wanted to see what the truck is capable of. And I mean, I use this thing for work, plowing snow, driving around, back roads, hauling, you know, good weights. So that's what this channel is made for. I'm actually gonna reset my, my uh, fuel, my fuel mileage here and see what we get. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there's a lot of weight back there. Without the airbags, it wouldn't feel nearly as good as what it does. The airbags make a huge, huge difference. Anyone that's contemplating airbags and you do tow quite a bit, or you just tow a camper or whatever, just get them. They're, they're worth their weight in gold. Um, the Gen Y torsion hitch, that makes a big difference. I'm about to come up to a bunch of, an overpass right now where there's a bunch of bumps. Anyone that tows a lot, you know when you hit certain bumps, you get that lugging in the trailer. Now, with this torsion hitch, with this torsion hitch, you don't get a lot of that. Like, I didn't really, you know, that didn't throw me off at all right there. If that was just a typical straight hitch, you would have been bouncing around and the truck would have been lugging. You would have heard the thing sort of shaking and banging back there. You don't get that nearly as much with this, with this hitch pretty damn good. 
Now, power-wise, you seen the acceleration going up the ramp. That was a pretty steep incline, probably like 4%, something like that. You know, I'm on the highway right now, I'm doing 110. And that's where I'm gonna set my cruise control. I could go a lot faster and feel and feel perfectly safe about it, but this is what I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it at 110. The majority of people, like, you know, Majority of people, including fast lane truck, when they do their sort of tow, towing highway loops, they set their cruise control, you know, on around 70 miles per hour, which is pretty much 110. So that's what I'm going to set mine at. Loads of power, no issues at all, at all towing. This truck has the 355 gears. It's, you know, it's, it's very confident. With those airbags, again, those airbags make a huge, huge, huge difference. I would tow this weight without the airbags, no problem, because I've towed a lot. But with them, it just makes a huge, huge difference. So much more confident, so much more stable on the road. You're not all over the place. You're not getting thrown around in holes. Um, it's, it's really a great experience. Guys, so we just got back. Uh, 18.4 kilometers, so obviously not a far drive. We average 21.7 liters per 100 kilometers. So not bad, pretty good for that amount of weight back there. That's just that, you know, sort of concludes the video. I'm gonna fix up my driveway now. But, you know, the truck does very good. Very good. Trailer, thumbs up. Hitch, thumbs up. Truck, thumbs up. So here's what we're doing. Fixing up some of these some of these holes here. All right, guys. As we stay down here in Nova Scotia, take her easy.